All right, so right now we're starting with our wall bucky um, orientation. We're gonna move our SID into 40 inches. So we're going by the arrow at the top to the number on the movement. So I know you can't see it on my video. I feel like it's so dark in here, but that front arrow to the numbers on the top. So now that we have it at our SID, we wanna go with the lines on the collimator that match for 40 inches. Shine the um, at room light on for a minute. So we're going by that little line for 40 inches for whatever our collimation needs to be. These tell you if it's moving them up and down or side to side, but I just watch the light on the actual bucky itself. All right, hit the lights and we're gonna go to a 14 by 17 and we're gonna do landscape at 40 inches. And I feel like our tube has an angle up on it still. And just shine the light for a minute so they can see you moving it. So she's gonna do a, a landscape, which is gonna be 17 across and 14 up and down. So as you're watching those numbers, while you're moving it, you can see that directional change. Does that make sense, guys? All right, now fix that angle, the roll button, to make sure it's right at zero. There you go. Now we're straight and we gotta marry because we're not matched up here. So go ahead and either move the tube or the bucky, whichever one to get the notch to line up. So it's married and that's it. So this is all doing longitudinal or vertical movements with our tube. Now, if we switch that and go to table bucky, go ahead and turn the tube to table bucky. We're no longer using that longitudinal numbers for anything. We just want that to be right at zero, to be straight down. And we want this tube to be going up and down so that we have it at 40 inches to the table bucky, which is the numbers on the right. So again, we're gonna look at that line over here, 40 inches. Now that we're at table bucky, we can move our tube longitudinally down so we can marry up to our actual table bucky. So longitudinal and on down. Longitudinal. Yep, that's it. So go towards the window some. Just a little. That's good because we were coming off the edge of the table. Now we got to match it to our bucky. So shine our light. Find our um, little point here to marry. That looks good. And now on this one, let's do a 10 by 12 portrait. So we're going to look at our numbers here for 40 inches and then shine our light to make a square to make it look portrait, which is going from the head to the foot with our bigger number. So our 12 is gonna be that way, and our 10 is gonna be the side to side number. So it still don't look quite right. That looks better. So now we have a 10 by 12 portrait with our numbers here matching up at the 40 inch line. I know you can't see it because it's blurry, but that's the steps.